Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Erica J. If you are new here, welcome y'all. I'm so excited today because I'm doing my first Sephora and also haul. Those are my favorite two places in the whole world. And I also decided guys that we're gonna do this once a month. We're gonna sit down and have an Ulta and Sephora haul once a month, right? So this is January's goodies video. Let's get right into the first product. All right, y'all, so the first thing I grabbed out of Ulta was this Alicia Keys, well, Keys by Alicia Keys, a Soul Care Cleanser, right, y'all? So this is the Golden Cleanser. It has honey and turmeric in it. Y'all, it smells so good. I grabbed the candle when it came out a few months ago, but um, the Ulta that I go to just always sold out of her products, so I have my eye on this one, and I was able to grab one. You should grab one, too, test it out. Um, it felt really get good on my skin. I have really sensitive skin and it didn't bother it. So I feel like this is a perfect buy for you if you're looking for a new skincare product to try out. It won't disappoint. So yeah, that is the, the Key Soul Care Golden Cleanser. <laughs> All right, guys, so next up, I grabbed the Mario Budashi Vitamin C Serum. Your girl is addicted to vitamin C. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I love to, like, wash my face at night and literally just put vitamin C drops on my face. This one is about $45, but it was on sale this week and it also for half off. So make sure you grab this on sale or when they have one of those coupons out where you can get, like, 5 or $6 off or whatever it is. Also, um, this is a really good brand. I use a lot of their facial care products. You won't be disappointed with this one either, but vitamin C can never let you down. I don't care who makes it, like it's always a good product to have in your skincare regimen, okay? And while we're talking about Mario Badashi products, like I hope I'm saying that right, Mario Badashi. That's a shame that I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right and I've been using these products uh, for ages. But this one is the AHA Botanical Body Soap, y'all. Like I told y'all in my other video when we were talking about like coochie care and all that, um, I don't use like scented perfumes, I'm not sorry, like scented uh, body soaps on, on my body or my vagina or whatever because it, it just throws your pH off. So I always use Dove. My alternative to Dove, I found this about six months ago. Man, this does you right. It doesn't mess up your pH. Um, this bottle is about $15. It probably lasts you like two weeks or whatever, but I'm telling you, ever since I started using this, once in a while I might go back to Dove, but this is like, this is it. So if you get a chance, try this. Um, at Ulta, it's the AH, sorry, A. HA botanical soap y'all and it smells so good and fresh but it doesn't give you like that overly fragrant soapy smell that I feel like some body washes have this definitely doesn't have it it doesn't leave film on your body it leaves a very clean feeling on your body so make sure you grab this try it out let me know in the comments if you do try it out if you like it like how did it make you feel how did you think it smelled because it smells really good to me so let me know down in the comments all right, y'all, so I'm like a kid at heart, right, when it comes to lip gloss. Like, are you like me? Like, you just, you're always looking out for the lip gloss. If it looks shiny and popping, like, like similar to MAC, you just grab it, right? So this one is the NYX New Lip Gloss. It's, this is Juice Gloss, right? It just caught my eye and also because they had like all these different colors and scents or whatever. They had like blueberry, watermelon, kiwi. And I think this one is, this is strawberry. It smells like a strawberry flex. It smells so good. I bought my daughter a um, blueberry one. I mean, it's just a quick little pop on, a little gloss to throw in your purse. But I thought it was super cute. And it does moisturize. And it wears for a little bit. Because some glosses, like, literally just come right off. But this one was cool. It lasted about a good hour and a half. And that's that's a long time in the gloss world. You know what I'm saying? Because some gloss, as soon as you put it on five minutes later, it's gone, okay? I think this was like $6.99 or $5.99 or something like that. But this is a good little gloss to throw in your purse. Okay, so I'm going to have to keep y'all updated on this product after I use it. I did do a little research on this one. Um, and I am really particular about the stuff that I use on my makeup brushes. I have never swayed away from uh, the blender. What is it? Uh... You know, the, the popular one. I cannot think of it right now, but I've been using that one ever since I started wearing makeup and I haven't veered away. But that baby is like $20 a bottle, that little baby bottle. I'm like, no ma'am, okay? No ma'am. So um, I did a little research and a lot of people were saying that they like Eco Tools brush cleaner. So I'm gonna try this one. It was really reasonable. It was only $6.99. So I'm gonna try this out because the other one that I use, it gets the makeup, makeup off so quick. That's what I like about it. It's expensive, but literally like it gets it off really quick. And cause you know, you can stand there and clean your brushes for like hours y'all and 
that's a whole mess but i want to try this one i'll let you guys know in the comments after i've used it like how did it work out was it quick or was it like you know it took a long time and i had to use a lot of it okay so i'll keep you posted on the eco tools makeup brush and sponge cleaner all right so i was getting also right y'all and you know anything that's cute on display it catches me so i caught this real technique um sponge cleanser it just looks so cute the way they had it displayed and y'all know i'm all about skincare y'all know that so i grabbed it i think it was like 5.99 i'll put everything um below in the description so i was like okay i'll try this um it's, it has like probiotics in it i was like yeah we're gonna see i bought myself one and i bought my daughter one because she's struggling with like acne around her edges but it's been working out we've been doing some home remedies with some aloe vera turmeric and tea tree oil and all that but you know a good sponge never hurt let me know if you guys have ever tried this and if you're gonna get it i think it's really cute and i think if, if you can see the pores i don't know through the let me open it up through the um camera it just looks like it is gonna get the job done i can't wait to use it and it feels so soft look at that you can see the pores on the sponges y'all can't wait to use that and i'll let you guys know how this works out they had lost their damn mind with this lotion 63 dollars for some lotion y'all hell to the no well as you can see i bought it but i didn't buy the 63 dollar bottle right they had this 63 bottle of lotion by aveva how did i say that right uh, aveva whatever y'all you see that it's called mineral dead sea water mineral body lotion let me tell y'all real quick what happened i'm just minding my business and walking through also i was in the little aisle where they have like the exfoliator the lotions and all that and it was this giant bottle of lotion so it just piqued my curiosity i opened it up i'm gonna open this one up i never smelled lotion like this before i'm not gonna lie so i threw it in my little my little hand cart thing and then i looked at the price it said 63 dollars i put that thing right back on the shelf no no ma'am no ma'am no ma'am what kind of lotion requires 63 of my dollars not not none that i know of not none but y'all i kept standing there because i had already smelled it it was already embedded in my brain i just never smelled lotion like this it gives you like it's a, it smells like a fragrance like literally if somebody opened this bottle and i had my eyes closed and i smelled it i would have thought that it was a fragrance from my collection it smells so exquisite it smells really good it smells fresh it feels it, it smells really light y'all so i felt compelled to buy it i was standing there for like 20 minutes debating about 63 dollar lotion and then as i was looking down it, it dismayed myself because the fact that I was actually thinking about buying $63 lotion was like insane. So when I looked down, they had a small, smaller bottle and that was this one, 8.5 ounces. It was on sale for 25% off and I forgot the exact price, but it won $63. I'll leave it below. I feel like you need this. You really need this. To me, I'm gonna, this is gonna be a part of like uh, my self-care Sunday, my self-care Sunday days where I'm like really, like pampering myself and giving myself luxury and love this is going to be a part of that regimen because it smells so good it wears really light on my skin and it just made my skin feel really really soft again it's called the dead sea water mineral body lotion by avea i don't even know if i'm saying that right i mess up everything but it's really good let me know if y'all about that y'all step out and splurge on it let me know Sometimes, you know, it's okay to spend a little bit of extra money on yourself. It's okay. As long as you actually use the product and you don't waste them, okay? Okay, so for me in the winter, which it is winter now, my skin, especially my face, it gets so dry, y'all. I have like my little T-zone right here. It it just get, it gets torn up like and I peel really bad. So I have to make sure that my face is really moisturized. Moisturized, excuse me. So that comes from drinking a lot of water and it comes from the products that I use. Now, the only moisturizer that I use on my face, I'm embarrassed to say this, is Jerkins um, Sensitive Skin Body Lotion because that's the only thing over the years that has really just kept the moisture in my skin. It's not too oily. You know, a lot of these lotions, they just have so much oil in them. So I stick to that. But I've been hearing good reviews about CeraVe's moisturizing cream. I'm gonna try this on my face. I did try it on my hands in the store, even though you're not supposed to open them up. I had to see before I left. Um, because it was getting a lot of good reviews on YouTube. You know, I do my research on my products before I buy them. And so I was like, this is something I'll try. 
they had a small size it was very reasonably priced so i'm gonna try this and i will let you guys know how it goes but i'm very optimistic because it also has hydraulic acid in it which is really good for your skin and that really works good uh, for my skin as well so that's the CeraVe moisturizing cream okay now most of these products were new some were also refills baby let me tell you about this this is the Mario Badeshi glyconic foamy cleanser now I don't know if they use holy grail in the YouTube world that that word anymore that phrase when you have like a product that you feel like is it but I have been using these products for the last two years. This stuff keeps my skin glowing, buzzing, popping, whatever, whatever. It keeps it there. Like if I get a little blemish, the um, the glycolonic in here, it really gets the bacteria out of my skin. It keeps it really fresh looking. It keeps it really clean. And their products are super inexpensive. I believe this one was like $15. I'm so bad with that stuff, but everything will be linked below. You want to also try their, um, they have rose water um, facial spray, coconut facial spray that you can use for toner after you wash your face. But I definitely recommend this, especially if you have like problem areas on your skin um, related to acne, which even though you'll never know that I ever get acne, but once in a while I'll get a pimple, a blemish, and I like to quickly get rid of that stuff. So. To me, anything with glyconic acid in it is really good, but Mario Badashi in particular has a really good skincare product. And this glyconic foamy facial cleanser is definitely something you wanna add to your skincare regimen for the winter. All right, girls, so uh, self-care night is definitely happening tonight because I have been waiting for this right here, y'all. It is called the Herbivore Coconut Hydrating Milk Bath Soap. It's like a little powder, you see it? I love this jar by the way but anyway I was checking out reviews for this from a couple of youtubers that I follow when they were doing their self-care Sunday and baby I could not wait it makes the water look so smooth and silky they were saying that their skin felt great so I can't wait for this I haven't had a chance to try it because I had to show you guys before I opened it up but anyway um it smells really good too y'all and look ooh, uh, this smells like fresh coconut off like the beach in Jamaica y'all like can you see that it smells so good like I it smells all, almost like a coconut like slice of cake fresh out the oven like I'm not even kidding you definitely have to get this from Sephora they are always sold out of this in the store so if you don't catch it make sure you get it online because I tried like three or four times to get this um in the store and I couldn't and then I just basically ordered this online because I was like I'm just never gonna be able to walk in the store and get it. But it's the Herb Avore Coconut Hydrating Milk Bath Soak. Y'all, and my bad, I forgot to say we transitioned over from Ulta to Sephora. My bad. Okay, y'all, so I wanted to try this out because I'm all about applicators for when I put on my face mask. Um, and I have this one that I don't know. Oh, I never posted that video. I did like a, a trial run offer haul that I never posted and I had a pink one in there. But I wanted to try one, it was strictly silicone. This one has a little brush. And this is the Sephora brand. I thought it was really cool. Sometimes I just want to feel the bristles up, bristles on the brush when I'm like putting my mask on. Cause sometimes with a plastic one, even though it's cleaner than a brush, let, let me not get it twisted. The, the gel applicator, plastic applicator, excuse me, is much cleaner. But this one just feels better. Cause the other one, the, the plastic applicator, the gel, silicone, whatever I'm trying to say. Sometimes if it's like a really slimy mask, face mask, I don't know, it just comes off when you do the the uh, the the silicone applicator it's weird but the brush I feel like it just stays on and it stays in place so anyway this one is a Sephora brand it feels so good y'all too it's great it's so cute too y'all know y'all if y'all don't know I keep saying y'all don't if you don't know you do know because I'm telling you I'm very much into skincare face mask and we'll do all of that like you want to catch some of my other videos with face mask I have an aloe vera one down there but anyway I love a good face mask so this one this is gonna come in handy for me I'm gonna use this a lot I'll probably have to end up buying another one I should have just bought two at one time okay and here's another Sephora brand product this is the Sephora coconut lip balm I usually buy their lip balms every once in a while Sephora products are pretty decent if you've never tried them before like sometimes you just got to get off into that right like Ulta brand products or Sephora brand products 
look at that i'm gonna show you you keep, probably won't be able to see it but it goes on really smoothly right it's a really thick and smooth lip balm and it smells so good it really smells like coconut y'all so i think this is like eight dollars it's just a good buy for the winter especially you know i don't know where you're from or where you're watching from but for me it's really cold outside for the next four or five months and i really have to keep my purse stocked up with like lip gloss lip balm and things to moisturize my skin okay guys so i slipped up and bought a couple bottles of perfume the first one was the mason margiala replica under the lemon tree y'all it smells so good i'm not gonna open it because it's supposed to be for a fragrance haul that i'm gonna do later and if you haven't checked out my other fragrance haul i'm gonna link it somewhere over here y'all gotta check that out of some essentials that you gotta grab for your collection and this one is added to my it smells so fresh and good it smells like fresh it smells like fresh linen and fresh lim fresh laundry and linen at the same time if that makes sense right it smells so good add it to your collection we're gonna do a review of a full review of this in another video so stay tuned for that and just binge watch me okay <laughs> and the last perfume for this haul is going to be the nest sunkiss hibiscus i'm not gonna open it up again because this one is for a part two fragrance haul it smells really good and fresh um you guys know that i really do my research on my perfumes before i give them reviews so i had already scoped these out had samples of these last two perfumes i'm gonna add them to a haul but you're gonna want to get the jump start on everybody else because you know you're gonna want to buy everything that i'm telling you to purchase in my videos um but you're definitely gonna want to add this one again it is the nest sunkiss hibiscus if you want to smell like you just walked walked out of a floral garden from the sun somewhere i don't know you want to grab this you're gonna smell amazing if you like videos like this guys make sure you like comment and subscribe to your girl's channel okay guys this is from quora organics this is the noni glow body oil it comes with um a screw off top or you can replace the screw off top with the pump I don't know most likely i'm gonna replace it with a pump y'all know i love a good body oil in the winter time this smells so good let me open up y'all let me tell y'all too that y'all need to put together this nest hibiscus sunkiss hibiscus perfume with this cora organics oil you're gonna smell like a million bucks this oil for one is so smooth um it leaves your skin with this natural looking glow not like overly oily glow i'm sorry glow but a more natural glow i love it um i try like a sample before don't even ask me how i finesse um sephora it's associating to giving me a sample because i had to test this out before i bought it because it is pretty pricey but i tested it out for you but i tested it out for you guys so that you won't waste your money and you know a lot of times with these more high-end or more expensive products i like to get samples first because you just don't want to be stuck with something that um is pricey and you don't like it but you guys also know if you don't like something like i told you guys in my fragrance haul if you don't like something always keep your receipt and and take that right back to the store do not waste your money or think that you have to keep something that you don't like and this is another goodie that i was so excited about it's like the small things in life that keep me happy this is a cleansing pad and it's a sephora brand you see how it has the little um nodule right there where you can just slide your fingers right there you can put your product here and just scrub all the dirt off your face i really really love this i love anything to clean my face though right i love to keep my face cleansed and moisturized but i thought this was like so cute and practical because a lot of these things don't have the um the little nodule right here so you're like holding it on the tip and you're kind of doing it like this or you're holding it scooping it in your hand this is really practical because you can just stick it on your finger and do what you got to do really cool Make sure you guys stick around and watch some of my other videos. I would surely appreciate it. And you know we're going to be back in February to do a February goodies haul, y'all. I'm so excited. I hope that you guys liked everything that I showed you. If you have any questions about any of the products that I showed you, drop a comment below. If you actually end up purchasing some of them, let me know. Let me know if you like them or what your thoughts were and all that good stuff. Thanks for watching and until the next video, I'll see you. Peace. <laughs>